Suppose you hit a desert island. What do you expect there? Monkeys. Palm. A deserted beach. Forget about it. There are many more surprising and interesting places in the world. For example, an island inhabited by snakes, an island similar to Mars, an island devouring ships, all this and much more. We will show you in today's video. The most interesting, the most unusual and the most dangerous islands. Here we go. Big Major K. This island is inhabited by pigs and no, they are not wild but able to swim domestic, chubby and friendly pigs. Scientists have no idea where the pigs on the tropical island came from. Maybe they were brought there by pirates as an ideal source of self-reproducing food. Maybe a ship transporting pigs sank nearby and several of them managed to save and reach Big Major K. There are many hypotheses, but there is also one more mundane, businessmen from neighboring islands could bring pigs, there is a tourist attraction. People who come to the island treat pigs very friendly, and they quickly learn to swim, for example, to approach tourists and ask them for food, fruit or cookies. Bunny Island of Okinishima Another uninhabited island occupied by animals is Okinoshima. Over 700 wild rabbits live here. There are no predators on the island, but there is plenty of grass and a very mild climate, so the rabbit population is flourishing. Animals are absolutely not afraid of people. They take treats from them and can be petted and even caught and taken in their arms. Annually, more than 100,000 tourists come to the island of Okinoshima to admire the rabbits. So the Japanese built a camping, hotel, golf course and beach there. Okinoshima has become a real tourist center. Interestingly, there was a chemical weapons production plant on this island before. The factory was destroyed. And tourists cannot visit the abandoned ruins? The official reason for the ban is the poor condition of the buildings, but the inhabitants of the neighboring islands think differently. No one has ever decontaminated Okinoshima so some areas can still be dangerous. In the basement of the former factory, there are chemical stashes. It is believed that the island's rabbits are descendants of experimental animals from those laboratories. After the plant closed, some of the animals escaped and gradually settled all over the island. The kingdom of the snakes Quimata Grand. Not all animals inhabiting various wild islands are as cute as pigs or rabbits. The Brazilian island of Quimata Grand was captured by snakes, they take literally every square meter of the land. Their quantity on the coastal rocks is almost unimaginable. Tourists passing by the island watch whole clusters of reptiles that crawl to bask on warm stones. Of course, Quimata Grand is not inhabited. Nobody wants to live with such terrifying neighbors. Even the lighthouse there works automatically. Snakes living on the island cannot be killed because they include rare and sometimes unique species, for example only found in Quimata Grand. Botropy is one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. Their bite causes immediate tissue necrosis even after a quick antidote injection. There is a 3% risk that a bitten person will die. Blacatra Salcatra is an island with exceptional vegetation. These areas separated from Africa up to 6 million years ago. This small piece of land was completely isolated from the world and evolution followed its own path here. 200 unique species of plants and animals live there. Some of them look like aliens. For example, Adenium Salcatranum called the desert rose because of its unusual delicate pink flowers. This plant resembles a bottle in which someone put a bouquet of flowers fertile soil, is not needed for the desert rose. It grows on sand and stones and its height reaches up to 3.5 meters. The tree there is another plant reminiscent of an open umbrella with a thin stem and a wide regular and geometric crown. The tree looks as if it was undercut by an experienced gardener. Another unique feature of Socotra is that it produces the rarest pearls in the world black with a steel shade. Surtsey Island 
the Icelandic island of Surtsey I was founded relatively recently, on November 14, 1960. Then a massive eruption of the volcano pushed a piece of land detached from land to the surface of the ocean. At the beginning it was a simple but large piece of pumice stone with an area of about 500 square meters. In four years the island has grown to two and seven tenths of a square kilometer, and then again reduced to one and a half square kilometers. Part of the land was destroyed by erosion. Scientists were sure that there would be no life on the island. However, they were very wrong. After a few hours, small bacteria settled on the island, and two years later fungi and lichen developed there. Moss on the stones became the basis for a nutritious substrate, and the waves brought mud and fragments of rotting algae to the island. By 1980, soil had already formed on the surface of the island. Not much later, herbs flowers grew and in 1988 the first shrubs on Surtsey live 85 species of birds and insects. It has been scientifically confirmed that nature can develop a full-fledged ecosystem even on bare stones for a period of 20 to 30 years. Importantly, the island's evolution is not over yet. In a few years the first trees will grow on Surtsey and more animals will live. I wonder which of them will reach the island first, knowing the life certainly ubiquitous rodents. Martian Dillon, you want to know how life would be on Mars. So we recommend a trip to Canada and more specifically to the island of Dillon is the largest uninhabited island in the world. Its area is 55,247 square kilometers. Summer on Dillon lasts only a month. During this time, the temperature rises to 10 degrees Celsius. The rest of the year is terribly cold up to minus 50 degrees Celsius. It looks like a real Martian desert. There are endless tracks of red-haired, frozen land, rocks, and dried lakes. Geddon Crater with an incredible diameter reaching 23 kilometers completes the impression of similarity to Mars. A huge hole was created after hitting a 2-kilometer meteorite 39 million years ago. Despite the frosty climate on Dillon there is almost no snow and fresh water sources are still blowing cold winds so the weather conditions also resemble Mars. The only difference is gravity, which on Mars is very low by 38%. Smaller than on Earth, NASA decided to take advantage of Dillon, is similarity to the Red Planet and built a science station there to develop a plan to explore Mars. Proponents of conspiracy theories believe that NASA never actually reached Mars and all the photos of space rovers were taken on the island. Sable Island Sable Island is 42 kilometers long and only one and a half kilometers wide. It looks like a giant fledgling worm. This is no joke, Sable is really crawling. It moves at a speed of 200 meters per year. Over the past century it has already moved 20 kilometers to the east. There is nothing magical about it. The island is destroyed by powerful ocean currents, the same that create vortices and interfere with shipping. Sailors consider these waters to be extremely dangerous and call Sable the Atlantic Cemetery or the island of a thousand dead vessels up to a thousand is undoubtedly an exaggeration but at least 350 ships have crashed off the coast of Sable. There was danger not only for sailors on the water. Sable's sandy shores look harmless, but they are actually moving sands. Many sailors who got out of the crashed ship fell into a natural trap and died a few meters from the mainland. There are also cases when the moving sands pulled the whole ship hence the other nickname Sable, the Sand Eater. People tried to fight the insidious island. In the 19th century, two lighthouses were built here, and then radio lanterns. 25 rescuers were on duty constantly. It actually helped. The number of disasters has decreased but the island is still dangerous. In the 20th century, at least four ships crashed on the island's shores. Of course, we are talking about registered cases, The island you don't come back from, Devil's Island. 
this small piece of land in the Gulf of Mexico is completely harmless. So where does its chilling name come from? Well, nobody really comes back from this island alive. In 1611, the captain of a pirate ship sailed to the island together with a group of 30 people, an epidemic broke out on the ship. Therefore, the captain decided to organize a kind of quarantine on land. He transported the sick to the shore. He left him food and promised that he would come back later. He returned, but it wasn't until a month later that the island was dead. Empty huts were found in which lay weapons, clothes, and food supplies. It seemed very strange if pirates would take another ship. Why did they leave their belongings there and if they died due to illness, where are their bodies or graves? After the attack of predators, there would also be traces of the fight, and after the robbery attack there would be no objects like the aforementioned weapon. This was the first secret of the Devil's Island. Another related to the fact that the island lay in the path of pirate ships could be noticed by another captain who decided to hide his treasures on land. At night a boat filled with gold came to the shore. It was controlled by a group of several pirates. However, they did not return to their captain in the morning and then the storm which lasted for two days began. When it calmed down, the captain sent other pirates to take those stuck from the island. What do you think the pirates sent to the rescue saw, you know nothing? There were no boats and treasures or pirates. The captain decided that he had been betrayed and robbed, and that the fleeing pirates had to die in a storm. In the 1950s, a descendant of a pirate captain read his ancestors' notes and said that treasures must still be hidden on the island. Those pirates who did not return to the ship probably just drowned then. The young treasure hunter prepared the entire trip. He sailed to the island and disappeared along with the entire crew. Rescuers found only an empty camp and boats moored off the coast. In 1986, the millionaire Suarez got there by yacht noticing a tropical island and wanted to explore it. Needless to say, neither he nor anyone on his crew of three men and three women returned to the yacht. The search expedition scoured the entire island and found only one girl who fell down, hit her head and lost consciousness. There was no rest. Police hoped to question the only witness, but the girl died on the way to the hospital. The Devil's Island has never revealed its secrets. Locals believe that it is better not to go to this island if you want to live. Friends, it's all in this episode. If you like this video then you may like it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There will still be many interesting things here.